Hello everyone, it's Barry here. Welcome to My Virgin Kitchen. Hope you're well. I'm joined by my eldest daughter, Phoebe, today. Hello. You might not recognise her because she's grown a beard, right? Yeah. Uh, she's wearing a Scottish wig and we've got uh, some Scottish flags in the background. This is part of a package we were sent from Scotland. There we go. Just passing by there. Uh, there was Melanie that sent that in, right? Mm -hmm. She also sent a card. It's got a pug on it. I look like your face then for a minute. There we go. I'm hosting it with Boston again. Uh, and Melanie also sent in uh, some plates, like from a mini food set. Boston is actually down here trying to sniff the box, actually. Look, it's a pug looking at a pug. There we go, he's <laughs> trying to sniff it. Ugh. So we're doing the My Virgin Kitchen Scottish taste test, and I've had quite a few of these before, so uh, young Phoebe here will be the chief taster today, right? Yeah! First up is Nan's Rough, Nan's? Rough Oatcakes. I've sounded Australian then. What do you think these are gonna be like? I think they're going to taste Wonderful, and I think I'm going to taste oats. Okay, you think you're right there actually, because they are uh, made with real Scots oats. Nairn is near Inverness in the Highland region of Scotland, and it's a popular tourist place, but these were made miles away in Edinburgh. They do look like they could be made of dust. Have you had these before? I have not had these before, mate, no. Um, yes, so they're in little packs there, quite thin. Uh, let's open them up. <sighs> I'm getting odour cardboard right there, mate. I can smell cardboard. Sorry, what do you smell? Um, well, sometimes at lunchtime I have these crackers and it smells a bit like them. Oh, does it? It does smell a bit like a cracker, but the crackers never really, I think I just <laughs> snorted too much of it there. Uh, that doesn't really have too much of an overpowering smell, does it? It is quite bland. So let's have a nibble. We'll see what it's like. Oh! Oh my gosh, I need a drink. <laughs> that was really drying my mouth out. What do you think? Do you like it? Um. It needs, kind of. Yeah, kind of. It does need a topping on it. You can see uh, on there they've got some sort of like sour cream with carrots and things. Um, just like a dry, like eating porridge straight from a bowl without any milk on it. My mouth is so dry right now, I feel like I've been eating at a cardboard festival. How about you? Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. That wasn't too bad. I can see how with the topping that would be okay. But this uh, is a drink, a very well-known drink uh, by a company called Bar, uh, called Iron Brew. And it's orange in colour. I've never actually had it. Have you? Did they give it to you at school? No. Okay, uh, but Mrs. Barry has described the taste as being quite metallic. And I love what we've done here. We've got the Y and the S on the end to make bar become Barry's. So it's Barry's Iron Brew. Well, I've smelt that smell before, but it's not that, but... <laughs> you smell that smell I, before, but it wasn't that. What was it? I then? smell something similar, but I just can't think of it. Look how orange that is. That is almost like the colour of rust. How Scottish do you look right now, eh? Um, quite Scottish. Yes, yeah, so that is um, quite a good look going there. Go on then, have a little taste and uh, let Daddy know what you think. She's not very good with uh, fizzy drinks. It makes her like grow moustache. Hmm, that's quite nice. Is it? What does it taste of? It tastes a tiny bit of orange. It does taste a bit like orange, but without the citrus, doesn't it? Mm. But I know what Mrs Barry was saying about it tasting metallic. It's kind of like a... Bubbly, orangey, rusty, metallic drink. Mmm. I bet it stops that cracker taste now. It has. Do you know what? I can't taste cardboard anymore. I can taste metal, which is a good thing. I think we're going to keep this to hand just in case we have any other dry stuff, alright mate? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 just put. Oh, awesome. That's the real sign of approval. Um, next up by Mackey's, which is also the nickname for McDonald's sometimes. Alright mate, we're going to Mackey's. Uh, haggis and, gr and cracked black pepper crisps. Do you know what haggis is? No. Right, that's a good thing. I am actually going to do a haggis on a separate uh, video, all on its own, dedicated. And also some flame grilled Aberdeen Angus mm, crisps. Are you ready for this? Yes. Can you do a Scottish accent? I'm Scottish. Hey, that was good. <laughs> I'm Scottish, Jimmy. Hey, we're going to eat these crisps, aren't we? You're good at that. Awesome. Maybe it's the hat. It's the power. Okay, so she's going for the Angus first of all. There you go. Whoa. Wow, good. You like that? Yeah. Mmm. They've got a really nice crunch and texture to it, kind of like a Scottish clunch. Can you say Scottish clunch? Scottish clunch. <laughs> uh, they're really good. And plus, they're steak flavoured. So, do you want another one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so these haggis and cracked black pepper ones. Um, get your nose right in there. Get your nose right in there. Have a little taste of that. Mmm. Yeah. These are really good quality crisps. Really good crunch, honestly. Mmm. What do you like? Like them? Delicious! Delicious, right. Let me tell you what's in haggis. Don't mind. You don't mind? The Scottish hat is working. 
We've still got a teeny bit of savoury to go, but we're going to delve into sweet temporarily because this is Tunnock's Tea Cakes, but this is a dark chocolate version. Amazing! Uh, you might have seen the giant food where we made a massive uh, milk chocolate Tunnock's Tea Cake, and then traditionally, apparently, you headbutt these to crack them before you eat them, so we headbutted the uh, giant tea cake. Three, two, one. Oh! So we have to headbutt these, all right? Mm. Amazing. The wrapper on them is normally red, but with them being dark, I guess why well, they got the blue and gold. It looks very regal. So ours are pretty cracked already uh, in transportation, but we must follow tradition. Are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Okay, great. Is there a chocolate on my head? No. Did you head about yours? Yeah. Right, I didn't do much of a dent on it. Okay, try it one more time. Really smack it against your head. <laughs> Lean back, see, so like, go like further back. Okay, anyhow, let's have a taste of these, all right? With essence of head flavour on top now. Mmm, what do you think? Delicious. Mmm, you got the biscuit layer, the marshmallow, then the dark chocolate cover in it. What is not to love, my friends? Mm. <laughs> Washed that down with some iron brew, didn't you, mate? Um, so next up, we've got two uh, Scottish themed soups. We have got Cullen Skink, which I believe is from a town called Cullen. It's basically like a haddock chowder. And this is cock and leaky soup. And this is not an innuendo. And I'm doing a video with my daughter, so we're gonna skim over that. Basically like a leek and chicken soup, all right? Mm-hmm, am I eating that? Well, you're not gonna eat it cold, mate. I think I'm gonna like that one. Yeah? Oh my God. What's the matter? That one stinks. <laughs> They're not looking the most appetising, but let's put it in the microwave, yeah? Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Soup's ready now. All right, don't get the wig hair in it. Stinks like fish. <laughs> it is fish, that's why it stinks of fish. It does smell suddenly. I don't know what Scotland smells like, but if I step off a plane, that is how I'd imagine it to smell like. Oh, Quite I fishy, peppery, mmm. Yeah? This was chicken. No, that's fish, and this has got bits of chicken in it, it's got bits of rice, cocker leaky, it's got leeks as well, right? Ooh, do you like it? It's the watery one, you've got the real milky creamy one over there. Oh, I like that a lot. It's really tender, all the vegetables are like, like that. What do you think? Kind of. Kind of. That one smells super smoky. How does it taste? You all right? I don't like that one. Why don't you like it? It's too fishy. It's too fishy. Let's have a go. It's much thicker than the other one. It's got like chunks of potatoes and fish in it. Oh my word. That is really smoky and like, mmm. I love fish and chowder in particular. That is gorgeous. I feel like I am swimming with the Loch Ness Monster, right? This one by Mrs. Tilly's is macaroon. Macaroon. So um, the description we've got is very macaroony, which is a lot of coconut. Uh, generally. It looks quite weighty, doesn't it? It looks like, I'm not going to lie, it looks like sawdust. It's, the name Macaroon sounds a bit like Cocoon. Cocoon, it does. Maybe we're eating cocoons. Oh, that smells quite chocolatey. It does smell chocolatey, doesn't it? I think there could be some, coconut. oh my gosh. It smells a bit coconutty as well. It does. Look at that. Can you see? There is like a band that must be coconut in the middle. Possibly white. Chocolate on the outside, you reckon? and then coconut. I think I'm going to like this. Yeah, it's not too bad. When you bite into that middle bit, the coconut in the middle, it almost feels like too much. Almost like you're biting into like a whole tube of toothpaste. Is that to you? Mm. You feel like you've eaten toothpaste? You do? It tastes um, a bit weird, but it tastes quite nice. Good. And it's also perished significantly all over the countertop. There's like coconut everywhere. It's like, feed the birds, top and sup, macaroon, right? Yeah. Mary Poppins. So these are some shortbread biscuits called Spotty Scotty Dogs. Now you can try and say that as much as you like, but you're going to end up doing it in a Scottish accent. Spotty Scotty Dogs. Can you do it? Spotty Scotty Dogs. Nice. Hold that. That is a West Highland Terrier shaped shortbread biscuit with chocolate chips in it that does look like a sort of disturbed dog rash. But we'll go over that, right? It smells really, really good. I'm gonna bite the head of this dog. Mmm. Delicious. We've got that nice chocolate chip finish and you know that you've peace of mind beheading a dog. Just to say that we don't endorse eating dogs. Thank you. These last two I am very fond of, but I don't know if Phoebe's had them. This one is Tunnock's uh, Caramels. Other alternatives are available and we can get them all over the UK. Ah, oh, so good. You're gonna love this. Your head is gonna explode with flavor, taste, dimension stuff. 
This is like the apprentice learning from the master. Oh, you're taking it away. Straight in there. Yeah. Are you hoping this is going to taste all right? Yeah. All right, so this is a, a caramel chocolate bar. It's got wafer and caramel layers in between it. Give me a Scottish noise that describes how that tastes. Delicious. <laughs> Delicious. Amazing. So good. It's got caramel in the middle and you would love it, my friends. Can I have some? Mm. What are they, Phoebe? Coconut snowballs. They are coconut snowballs and Melanie confessed that these came in a two pack but she ate the others herself. These are amazing. I will join you on this taste journey, okay? Mm. Have you ever had a snowball? No. Don't eat yellow snow, folks. That's a good tip as well. It's basically coconut covered marshmallow. They are so dainty, so cute, aren't they? Huh? Yeah. I'm angry. They do fall apart quite easily as well. There is coconut everywhere, kind of like dandruff falling out of someone's hair. Uh, here we go, are you ready? Yeah. Mama, tell me no! Scottish version. But my body, my my marshmallow snowball is telling me yes. Oh, so good, huh? Eh? No. No. Oh. <laughs> you can see this there. Look at that massive wedge of marshmallow. Like that other thing. If you're gonna wedge it, you want to wedge it with marshmallow, soft chocolate case around it, and a good dusting, good dusting of uh, coconut on top. My Scottish friend, what do you think? They're delicious, you should eat them. Yeah, you should. <laughs> Wash it down uh, with your iron brew, right? But that is it then, folks. Uh, thank you so much, Melanie, for sending in the box of treats from Scotland, some favourites of wine I've had before, and some new experiences indeed. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. And you're going to keep this on for the rest of your life. If you'd like to send me in a box of treats from your country, wherever you are in the world, get in touch via the myvirginkitchen.com contact form. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow us on social media for regular updates. And that is it, right? Yeah! Check out the other tasting videos and we'll see you next time. Or Headbutt a snowball. You've got snow in your head. I have got snow in my head. That was a really thing, silly thing to do. Oh, oh my god! <laughs>